Hello, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, oh, can't itch. As you can see, uh, by the title of the, sh the, uh, the title of the video, Rainbow Disco Color Changing Sheep. He's over there. See that? I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, in a second or three, I just need every, before I start that, I want to take a little trip. Where's me? Did I have a boat? I will put it back. I just I need a boat because I need to get some of the I don't know what they call them. I'm calling them Christmas trees. It's down there, isn't it? So what I'll do is I just jump in this boat. There it is. Uh scoot over to over here I saw them. I'll jump before I do anything. The sun's going down, so now I'll just come up here first. Jump out. Get this done, because this is going to be really, really quick. The sheep situation is d dead easy. The uh, the colour changing sheep, really, really easy. There's the different ways that you can change the colour of the sheep, you know, with regards to... Uh, dyeing the wool. And I'll show you two. Well, there's three, but I'll show the two. The one that I use, the main one that I use, and also the uh, color changing sheep. Color changing sheep is really easy. It's a nice little thing for your farm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so it's nice. To, oh, let me just shut that door there because we don't want nobody, especially those uh, uh -huh, people, wandering traders, coming. And uh, rather miss stuff. Let me just check if I've got my axe. Yes, I have. Uh, now, with regards to the colour change in sheep, oh, it's you. You will need two things. Uh, you will need uh, a name tag first and foremost. I've gotta have a name tag to get that thing going. And you also need. I can't think of the name of it at the moment. So what we'll do is I'll come over here. I just want to get a couple of these trees here. And uh, hopefully the saplings as well. Let's get out of here. Uh, we want the axe. Let me just put that up there. Okay, let me just grab some of this. And like I say, hopefully we get the saplings. Ideally, we could get four. Falls like the magic number with regards to these because there's something kind of to do with them. Because um, this, I mean, it's it's nice. I like the dark oak, you know what I mean? Is there a little place down here? Oh, it's that there. Uh, yeah, like the dark wood with regards to it. But it also has the ability to change the soil it gets changed into I think it's called podsel. I'm not too sure. Uh, but what you can do with that, yeah, I've got one, uh, is uh, you can grow mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are really good to have because you get them all, well, not so much all over, but you do get them in the nether. And uh, they're happy to sit and grow, do their thing and what have you. And with the mushrooms, you can actually make uh, mushroom soup, which is good as a f source of uh, food supply, and it's a good one as well because it gives you a lot of. Have we got any more bits? I'm seeing here, like I say, four would be really, really cool to have. Got four, I think I saw one further and up. Oh, it's what right, let me just grab this one here. Oh, there's two over here. And in order to get that um, whoop, that podsel, you need to have four growing. It's a bit kind of scientific. It's a bit above my pay grade why it happens, but it does. Just check. Oh, we've got that there. We've got one here. How many we've got? We've got eight. This might be enough. 
Because I'm just, like I say, just going to grab this. Head back anymore. And then show you how to do the sheep. Bah. The multicolor sheep. I'm seeing one here. Job done. That'll do. Oh, it's another one here. So what's that? 12, 13. Nice one. That'll do. Oh, bugger this one there. I'll grab that. Oh, this two. Yeah. See, with the four, you can actually make giant trees, and they're really, really cool. I mean, bigger than that. But, like I say, you need four. I've only ever done it with these Christmas trees, dark oak, whatever it's called. I don't know if it works with any others. You could try it with others. Uh, but, anvil, that's the other thing you need. I couldn't think of the name of it. It's an anvil. Anvil, I can't remember off the top of my head. You need uh, iron blocks. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's four iron blocks and three iron bars. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, here we go. We'll get around here. I'll show you what an anvil looks like. You might already know what one's like. You might already have one. Not too sure, but I'll show you. Just be on the safe side. So, you need an anvil and you need a name tag. That's the anvil there. That thing there. And you need... Uh, a name tag. That thing there, name tag. Now, name tags are a bit kind of tricky to get. Uh, you get them from fishing. That's easy peasy place to get them. If you're prepared to sit there for a couple of hours. And you also get them from uh, down mine shafts. You know, in the treasure chest things, you can get them from there. And another place you can get them from is... Uh, the librarian oh. up at the village but you have to have them high level for that thing to get them uh, you know really high level uh, I think it's level 5 I'm not too sure but uh, yeah that's what you need to get them to get the name tags so uh, what you do with the name tag is you put it on your oh bugger you put it on there on your anvil I'm not going to do it. Uh, right, name tag. You on there, clear it off, and you type in Jeb, J E B, underscore, not that, underscore. I'm not going to do it because I've already got one. And it's going to cost you one enchantment. You see it there in green, enchantment across that. Once you've agreed to, you just take it, bring it down, bang, it'll nick a point off you. And then. There, you'll see that your levels there will go down one. Mine's eighteen. If I at the moment, if I'd have done it, it would have gone down to level seventeen. Then what you do is you rush around to where you got sheep, and you just place it. You name your sheep with the Jeb, like this one here, Jeb underscore, and he becomes uh, disco sheep, sea sheep. Some people call it rainbow sheep, color changing sheep, whatever you want it. He'll just scroll through all the things. The only thing is. If I were to harvest the wool off of this thing, because initially it was white when I put it on, it'd just be white wool. The wool wouldn't change itself, it'd just be the initial. That's that one. Now, another one way to change the color of a sheep. This is the way I do it as opposed to, because it's easy pieces to do this, and this is a permanent solution. Uh, what you do is you grab a sheep, you make your flowers into a dye, and bang, there you go. Now, this one here, as you saw, it was white initially. Now, if I harvest that, wool's red, but that will grow back white. So that's always a good thing. And a little tip that I heard about, I've not actually tried it myself, is if you... Um, i just grab this out here, that there. If you dye a sheep, can I do that sheep there? That's red, or it has to stay. It might, be, might go purple. Oh, blue, right. If you are in a raid, you know, when all the raid, like, if a raid comes, if you have blue sheep, the wizards, instigators, whatever they're called in the raid, will stop and try to turn the blue sheep white again. It's a distraction for them. So you can use that little kind of information uh, to your advantage, which is really kind of cool, I think. Uh, I need, let me just grab that. That there. Now, with regards to the uh, three, 
four. See, the four crit. What are they called? Spruce saplings. There you go. If you put four down, and you use the uh, bone meal on them, only hit one corner one. Don't go. But 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 but. Oh, um, four of them. Just one one of them. First of all, it'll grow up, and like you can see, they'll fall grew together. It'll produce this brownish soil here, podsel, which is uh, mushrooms grow on it. And we'll have a little look how big the tree is. Look at that, isn't that cool? And what you can do, like I say, the, uh, I'll have to get a bit more. I think I might have a bit more. What I'm gonna do in uh, the next episode is make a, uh, what's the name? Bone meal generator. Oh, here we go. Bone meal. Uh, a composter. Because it's nice uh, using, bone meal on things like I say on this for example on this tree because this is just oh, come on yeah no you want to do it there we go what the hell am I am I up ah oh. uh, that wasn't so good well, I don't know I don't know I uh, will do one more all this will become uh, puzzle. You can hit it from any corner, but just one corner is the key uh, with regards to, I mean, look at that. Look at all this wood here, and uh, you can imagine that you get quite a few uh, saplings from it all. Yeah, any corner you can hit with the uh, bone meal. Bang. And uh, it grows it really, really big. So, and like I said, you can actually grow mushrooms. So when you're out and about and you get a mushroom, put one down, leave it alone. It will do its thing. Nothing else will grow on here. All this is just going to get this off here. You can't plant flowers. You can't plant wheat and nothing like this. So, uh, it's always a handy little thing. It looks quite cool, I think. Uh, and the wood, it's like amazing wood. So I'll chop that down in a while. So there you go. So the sheep, name tag, anvil, Jeb underscore, name of sheep, easy peasy, giant trees, four saplings together. Like I said, I've only ever tried it on them. I've not tried it on other trees. And uh, makes podsel and you can grow uh, what sits on them. So uh, there you go. Give it a go and see if you like it. Okay, chat to you later.